um, flexible. When it comes to the question about drones and satellite and how they're being used in agriculture, there is a bit of a debate right now which is better. They're both very useful. But the satellite images will tell you one thing, it can tell you perhaps the mineral substance or the fertilizer or the nutrition in your soil is, where the moisture is, where a drone, it can actually get closer to the plant, it can tell you, you know, is that plant growing, does it require more water. And I do think over the next five to ten years, we'll see the two probably merge into the same reports so that a farmer can take that and use it in a better way. So Green Arrow Technology is a very specialized company. We have a, a great passion for UAVs and drone technology. And all the guys in the company really love different things you can see when you get about 200 feet up in the air. So we started off as a company selling hardware, trying a, a lot of different things, trying to see actually what was useful to farmers. We had a, a great customer one time. We were showing him some different uh, testing we had done. And he said, guys, this is great, but nothing matters until I get my water under control. So what we do is we actually have a sensor built into the drone, a sensor that sits on the ground, they communicate with each other. So we actually use a process called photogrammetry and we can map out every single inch of the field multiple times, see the whole picture and get extremely accurate information in about a half hour. So this is our augmented reality sandbox. How it technically works is it actually works with an Xbox Connect controller. So it actually throws down an infrared grid onto the sand here. It runs it through a, a computer program and it spits it out on a projector. So as you move the sand around, it's actually going to redraw the topographical lines based on what the elevations are in here. So we can move the sand around. You can see as it gets higher and lower, the chain, lines will change here. And what's really fun about it is we can actually, in addition to moving the sand around, we can actually add water as well virtually. So if I put my hand over top here, it actually acts as a rain cloud. You can see some water start to pool into here. We've done a lot of work in actually making systems and information that's really easy to interpret for farmers. They can really easily tell where the water is going to stand, where the natural water flow pathways are in the field. What we find in the technology industry, a lot of times guys will invent this new idea, this cool thing, and they'll try to find a problem to go solve with it. And what we try to do is work the other way. We try to find a problem and find a technology that will solve that problem. So, you know, we're of the opinion that when you have a hammer, sometimes everything looks like a nail. We want to be really focused on what farmers need, what they're looking for, and then go back from that point and try to fix what that problem is and help them give them something that's, you know, going to help them out on the farm for years to come. This year at Ag in Motion, what's getting the most excitement is the very first autonomous power platform.